Hey, what's happening? Happy Friday to you. It's Jesse Abanez. I'm your host for foreclosurefriday.com. We're putting the book in on Bank Own, baby. It's Friday. And uh, if you are a subscriber to the show, you will know that Friday means that we are going secret list, baby. We are going secret stash, secret list. So what I'm about to show you right now, only you have access to, okay? These are homes that have come back to the bank. So they are foreclosures. They are bank owned homes, but they are not out on the MLS yet. So this is the silent market, okay? By having access to this information and having access to this list, what you can uh, what you can do, in effect, is track these homes, do all of your due diligence before they hit the market so that you'll be first on the scene and be able to capitalize on these um, by the time they do go live, okay? So this is exciting, and I've got a real special show for you guys here today because... Wait for it. There's a bank-owned home in Coronado. That's right, Coronado. Huh? I know, it's crazy. Check it out. All right, so here we go. So 24 properties popped up in the last seven days that have come back in the silent market, drawn a, a five-mile radius right around the heart of San Diego. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'll share all these with you on the list. But for this episode here, I just wanted to point out my three favorites in here. First one is our low price favorite. Now, of course, you're going to take exception to the fact it's only 570 square feet, right? Only a one bedroom, one bath. But my God, this thing just went back to the bank. It's valued at $155,000 and it only went back and they're estimating for the bid only to be about 112. So my God, I mean, right? This is entry level at its finest. You could scoop up a crib in the heart of San Diego for a hundred and a quarter maybe. Check that one out. Make sure you track that one if you're not already. This other one over here is a little more east than I typically like it. Uh, but check it out, the footprint. So uh, almost uh, 1,200 square feet. It's a full three-bedroom, only a bath and a half. But to be over there in the heart of San Diego and be able to scoop something up for what? $185,000? The estimated bid on this is, uh, the estimated value is, is 443. So we'll see where it actually comes out when it goes live on the market. But make sure you're tracking that one as well. That's over on Norma. Now, uh, I'm going to get to uh, my favorite guy here in the show. Folks, it's not every day that uh, our friends over in the, uh, in, in the womb of San Diego, known as Coronado, indemnified from, from all of the uh, destruction and chaos going on in the housing market, protected by its bays, only accessed by the Coronado Bridge and the, and the Strandway. Well, it looks like even the long arm of foreclosure got to these guys. Check this out. Three bedroom, full three bath, over 3,000 square feet with a two car garage. Now, while that's not spectacular, what I'm about to show you next is. All right, so check this out. With a little help from our friends over on Google Earth, we're going to drop right down in on this one. Now, are you kidding me? So if, if you're not familiarized with exactly what we're looking at, okay, this is, um, this is the Hotel Dell right here, okay? There's the Coronado Bridge. And this right here is basically like, I mean, this is about as good as it gets, okay? It's actually on Glorietta Street, which if you're familiar with the area at all, you know that's the street that you drive by when you want to cut uh, take and take the shortcut back across the bridge. Check this guy out. Across the street, there's the water. There's the, uh, there's the taco towers over there. There's the Hotel Dell. And then my friends... Right there is hot bank owned home of the week. I mean, how cool is that, right? So you want to know more information about this one? Make sure you let me know. Raise my hand. I know this one's going to go fast. Now, I don't know. Not everybody's got a couple mil lying around. But uh, if you happen to know somebody uh, who does and who's interested in, in making the scoop of a lifetime in bank owned homeville, make sure you take out your cell phone. Look up this number right here and call me immediately and uh, let me know how I'm at. It'll get in touch with that person to see if I can help. So that's my list for the week. Have fun this weekend, y'all. And if you're not already a fan of our uh, Facebook page, click this link down here right here. Click like us on the page and that will enable you uh, to get all these videos streaming live each week so you don't have to go hunting them down. All right? Thanks for checking in.